I'm going to start this video by saying uh, Jordan and I suck at taking videos um, and remembering to take videos. So uh, we're a little bit farther ahead than what we wanted to be for the next video, but uh, we'll show you what we got going on here. So Jordan, you want to explain here what uh, what you've done the last few days that uh, we haven't been oh, taking man. any video? I don't think we had the frame together from the last time. So. We welded up all the, the frame pieces that you saw us messing around with before. Um, we added some extra center bracing in just because, why not? Um, trans mount there, we were able to use the original one weld onto it, so it's just kind of nice so then we know it fits perfect. Made some motor mounts that will probably clean up a little bit better, but they're thick uh, quarter inch steel, so it drops right in, fits perfect. We're making our own horns because you're supposed to taper it down to three inches, then you can just buy them right online and weld them in. But we have four inch, so we're just gonna try and make our own. Um, we got all the straight axle stuff in, which there's not a single video out there that we could find that showed how to do it, and we've never done it, so we are kinda <laughs> struggling there for a little bit. But we have to take everything back off to shoot the frame. Um, we use Cerakote, the gun application. It's really awesome stuff. We'll get to that once we get to that point. But we have to take everything off to, to shoot that. So once we have it all cured up and everything, we'll show how to put the whole front end together because it'll be back down to square one for the most part. And I uh, think that'll be helpful for a lot of people. So today what we got going on is I'm getting all the stuff made up for the headlight mounts gonna clean off a lot of unnecessary junk. Um, that'll probably be off camera because it's not too exciting. Christian is gonna deal with that. So we had to notch out the back a little bit and then we got some more stages in case we wanna go lower. Yeah, that's so that we can fit over our Z there. Yeah, the firewall came about here and the back was right about there so we had to notch out a little bit, plus we're realizing that our front four link sits lower than anything else, so we figure why not channel the cab down a little bit lower, because it'll look cooler. So right. Christian's got some cutting to do, uh, clearing some room for the tunnel cover there, and then up on the front there, he's gonna have to cut, I don't know if you can see the marks on there, but it's a rough guess, so there's probably gonna be a, a few sessions of cutting. Uh, you can see here in the back, under the seat, we had to channel just a little bit, which, um, not a big deal. So Christian's gonna do some cutting. I'm gonna do some boring work. And let's we'll see what we can get done today. got the uh, flooring and stuff cut out. Now we're going to uh, test the cap, see if it uh, will fit on there better. So we got the cab like sitting where it's supposed to be now. I got to do a slight bit thing, like right here. We're touching the trans, and then right up there, I gotta make a little room for a bolt, and then just a little bit more off of there. But we're we're sitting we're sitting steady. Obviously, the the back end of the truck is sitting down, so it looks like it's tilted backwards, but it's really not. So well, yeah. 
Well, I, I guess, yeah, <laughs> technically the cab is tilting backwards, but... And the frame right now. Yeah, but the frame is also tilting back. But once everything gets done and stuff, it'll the cab will sit level with the ground. So. We'll make sure it's good. Yep, mm-hmm. That we will. Be good, good stuff, isn't it? Getting there. Yeah. I'm getting a little excited. I'm getting excited, too. All right, so since the cab and stuff's mounted, Jordan's over there. There, he's right there. He's uh, he's trying to get the rear end kind of lined up for the four link. And uh, while he's doing that, I'm gonna start building the headers for this thing. So that's kind of exciting stuff. So um, we're we're making some good headway today. It's uh, it's been a while since we've had a day to really get in here and do some work on this thing, but about time. So I'm going to set it up so you guys can kind of watch what we're doing. Um, Jordan will probably grab the camera every once in a while to give you some pointers on the four link and stuff. And for the headers, probably not gonna because uh, I've never built these before. So uh, it's kind of a learning curve for me. So if, uh, if they turn out ugly, don't uh, make fun of me. And if you have any tips for us on them, yeah, um, yeah. Or you... anything for that matter. I mean, we're self-taught on everything, so if there's ever anything that you're like, hey, there's a better way or easier way, definitely comment or message because it helps us and helps other builders. Right, exactly. So let's get to it. All right, so I just got one hitter pretty much all the way done. So you can kind of see it there. Looks pretty good. Jordan's still prepping stuff for the four link. Um, so that's cool. This header kit actually went together way faster than what I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to be a real pain in the butt, but it's really not. Just cut one angle, uh, tack them into place, and then you just have to cut and weld your collector on. I don't have the collector on yet, but um, we'll get there shortly. Jordan's buzzing up the... Uh plates on the four link but here's the header kit so I just gotta like cut it there-ish to put this collector here and then we can turn it out so it's not blowing directly onto the cab so that'll be cool I got one more side to do but uh, I'm gonna give Jordan a hand here with the four link for a minute and uh, then we'll get back to you we'll kind of set it up so that you can actually see how the four linking and stuff goes together. Isn't that right, Jordan? Yes. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward when we're trying to get most of the measuring junk done because it's just tedious, slow work, and then we'll just kind of summarize and show you how that part goes. Go, 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 go. Hi, Jordan, what are we doing? Okay, so we're at the four link rear end. We're running, this time is a parallel four link with a pan hard bar. So basically, all that means is uh, these are going to be parallel, one top, one bottom, the weld on the sides. In this case, we're going on the outside because the front trailer is on the outside, so it kind of looks nice. Plus, I think we have space, space issues. And then there's a pan hard bar, which is just a bar that uh, will go on. I like them on the top, so we might end up cutting this and changing it so it's on the top. And basically that just helps the axle from rocking left and right. Um, usually we run a triangulated, but I, I don't really remember why we ran parallel on this one, but we are. Um, so we kind of got it set up to, to 
simplify the video and make it a little less boring. Um, so to summarize, we measured the axle width, marked the center of it, and we measured the frame. So we got the center of the frame. So our, our line lines up so the axle is centered. Um, we got our wheelbase set about where we want it, so that's about how far back we want the axle. Once we got all that locked in, so everything is perfect, lined up, centered, square, all that jazz, um, I just had some little extra straps there, so we welded that to the frame, welded it to the axle, that way everything's locked in place, um, so the axle can't move. So then we're on to the four-link part, so what we're gonna do is uh, start with one side, we'll tack it to the frame, tack it to the axle, um, this is about ride height and you want your parallel bars to be, you know, level with the ground or as close to it as you can at ride height. So we're going to do that probably about as close as we can. We'll tack the front, tack the rear, do the same on this side, and then we're going to unbolt it. That way we can roll the axle back and get all of our welds, um, off of the truck. That way it's just a little bit easier and we'll burn it onto the frame and all that. Uh, then we'll roll it back in, bolt it back up, and then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do for our pin hard bar because it's like almost as wide as our frame, so it's just it's really stupid. I don't like it, but um, we'll address that later. But this time I think we're not going to do a time lapse. That way we can kind of talk to you as we're doing it in hopes that uh, it will help somebody out there give them the courage to do their own four link. Um, the first time that I did this, it was just off of YouTube videos, so maybe this will help somebody else. This is my first time doing a four leg, so it's uh, pretty exciting stuff, so I'm going to be learning while you're learning. Good deal. Right. One other thing that I forgot to mention, when you're doing this, before you get it all tacked in, we have to make sure that the drive shaft angle was going to be good, so you know, we opened up the doors, saw where our transmission sat, made sure everything was um, good and straight because you know if, if our transmission points down and our at this point and if the pinning pointed up then obviously you're going to have new joints binding so you so you want to eliminate that as best as possible um, obviously you're never going to be able to well most of the time you're not going to be able to get your transmission and your pinion angles to be perfectly level with each other so the transmission sits a little bit higher, so the rear end we just kind of have tilted up just a little bit so it makes that angle just a little bit nicer. So we're pretty confident where it's at. Um, we'll, we'll burn everything in and uh, after we get this part done, we can actually get a drive shaft made and there's a place up the road, they're literally three miles from us, one day turnaround and they're usually less than 200 bucks. So. That will be exciting to move forward on to next. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this about level with uh, the ground, or like I said, as close to it as we can. But also we're gonna try and make sure that we're the same width from the frame going back. That way it's just eliminating as much binding possibilities um, as possible. So we'll get it reach. Here, we gotta go in your way just a touch, maybe quarter in. Alright, so that's looking pretty nice there. So, I'm gonna look from the side, it looks pretty well level. So, I'm gonna give it a good couple tacks back here. Digital uh, level here. 
I'm going to guess we're less than a degree, which is definitely not an issue. But also, I just kind of ran with where we had our... Okay, it was one degree. It's a one degree tilt back. But I'm more than okay with that. Um, we'll do the other side. We'll get it tacked just a touch better. We'll cut these back off. And then we'll jack the frame up and down, make sure there's no binding issues. Um, another thing I was pretty disappointed with this kit is... Um, it didn't come with anything to mount the the shocks, which usually are not shocks, but um, coils. Yes, which usually they do. They just they they're on the bottom of the four link and they mount to the backside, which this one didn't do, which I'm pretty bummed about. But we're going to uh, we're going to make it work. <laughs> All right, we're four inches on the other side. Obviously, the front has to be there. Oh, you didn't put any brake cable. Oh, wow. Good oh. Uh, out my way. Um, while I'm doing this, <laughs> as you brought the camera over, uh -huh. do you want to cut these off? Because, um, uh, let me think. Buzz them on a little bit more. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We need Before to get the, cut um, that off. no, that should be fine, yeah. Let me do these, and yep. then we'll cut these off, and we'll make sure it doesn't bind. Right. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so Jordan had to leave. So, you left me the uh, uh, opportunity to build the pan hard bar for this thing. So like we were saying earlier, this one's way too long for what we need it to be. So we're gonna make it just really short. It's gonna go from here, just to the top of the housing here. Just be pretty much straight. So let's get to it. So the four link is now all tacked up and ready to go. And it doesn't bind, so. It's, uh, it's ready to be taken apart and fully welded together, and then uh, we can pretty much shoot everything with, with uh, our Cerakote, so that'll be great. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today. Uh, we got a lot accomplished on the rat. Um, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos, and uh, stay tuned for next time.